Hello guys and welcome to our brand new video. Today I'm here with Miss Kobayashi Dragon Maid S episode number 10. Okay, the previous episode, it was one of the best episodes of this uh, season and um, we, like, it was mainly Elma centric. Uh, we got, got a lot of scenes with Elma. The first uh, section of the anime was Elma centric as well where we get to see how she doesn't like that Kobayashi's company is kind of you know in a way exploiting them it's like a black company and uh like you know with all the overtimes and stuff and she wanted to become the <laughs> the rebel and she tried she tried a lot but unfortunately uh yeah she was she kind of failed in the end and uh we got to see sota's dad and all they had a little conversation and yeah that was that but after that, we also see another Elma centric scene where Elma and the kids, that is uh, Kanna, Taikawa, and Sota, um, they go in a little outing, fishing, and you know, they have a little fun. They, you know, that whole thing happens, and Elma kind of freaks out when she loses them. <laughs> but yeah, everything was fine by the end of it, and it was all good. But then comes the next part of the episode where which was really the main f uh, focus of this uh, of the previous episode uh, where elma and Toru have a little fight and uh, not a little but that was an immense fight with some huge like you know, animation budget <laughs> like as always yo kyo any so you know like <laughs> happens and by the end of it we actually realized that elma is actually uh, has been kind of stressing out in a way where like you know before she kind of was like you know she was a good friend to toru and they were kind of all like messing around with each other and they were good friends and but now that toru is here and she's all alone in this world now unlike toru who has so many friends and so many people to interact with she has kobayashi so yeah elma was kind of feeling a little bit depressed and lonely and she said that like why are you doing this become friends with me just like we used to be <laughs> That, that was that was a really cute scene and uh, yeah like then they again kind of like you know kind of squabble with each other and they're, they're like you know that's that's them they're just friends who kind of mess around with each other fight with each other and that's the essence of their friendship and by the end like you know kobashi kind of treats them to a meal and yeah it was a happy ending so let's see what this episode brings this is episode number 10 of miss kobashi's dragon maid s so without further ado let's get started I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here, so uh, sync it to whichever is your preference, and let's get started. Alright, so here's the countdown. 3, 2, 1, go. Okay, what's happening? Who is this? Is this Kanna? Yeah, it is Kanna, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, what? Ah! What is this? Oh no. Oh no, don't, don't, don't fall asleep midway. Okay. <laughs> oh, she needs... Wait, is she in America? Whoa! <laughs> she's in a completely new place. Oh my god, what the hell is going to she she's going to do now? She's all alone here. But she can go back, you know, she's a dragon, so... But she doesn't want to go back, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god like imagine running away from home and you find yourself in some distant country like which is like miles away from your home <laughs> like, like everything's like big scale for them because they're dragons like <laughs> kana runs away from home and yeah she's in a completely different country now <laughs> I wonder what they fought about. 
like i don't think yeah like kanna and kobayashi fighting i i hope it, i uh, I don't think it's some kind of like you know serious stuff. It's maybe some kind of a tribal thing. <laughs> so, like usually we see Kobayashi being the you know person who kind of accepts everything. But I wonder what they actually fought about here. <laughs> oh my god! It looks fun. <laughs> Can can she like people are going to speak in English here? So can she talk properly, communicate properly? Um, you need money for that. Oh uh, no! Conversation, Kanna. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you have an auto translate? Oh boy. What? Um Yeah. Oh no, she's hungry. Oh my god, she's in a what the? Um, what's happened? What the? <laughs> like, what? What's going on? <laughs> okay. Yes. Punch. Ooh. Whoa. Michael! <laughs> Poor Michael. Uh, wait, what? Oh no. Yes, everyone has the runs now. <laughs> okay, hopefully she'll be able to feed her. <laughs> you know, she's hungry. Yeah. She didn't know that? Wait, she can speak Japanese? What? I will as Why is she speaking in Japanese? <laughs> ah! Okay. Let's play. <laughs> yeah. And she also needs some food. Yeah, we need some food. <laughs> Hot dogs. Hot dogs. Oh, she's kind of in the same uh, boat as a. Whoa! No, that won't work. Um. Oh my god. <laughs> what now? <laughs> okay, okay. She had some money. <laughs> Is that girl okay? <laughs> oh my god, she'll ask where, where are you from? She'll be like Japan and she'll be like, what? <laughs> oh my god. Okay. <laughs> oh!
<laughs> Let's see Kana do Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Oh my god, I <laughs> Like running away from home can't be this enjoyable, you know? Don't do that. <laughs> oh my god, it's like Kobashi. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, she's feeling homesick. Hmm. So what was the fight about? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but they're worried as well, you know, family members. Oh, uh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, like Kana, not only once, like with her own family as well, the dragon family. She also ran away from there as well. So she knows this even better. Oh my god. Oh my god, the kidnappers. Okay, that took them took Kana by surprise. Oh god. Okay, follow them, quick. Oh my god, Kana's mad. <laughs> God. What the hell? God damn it, Michael. What is wrong with them? Uh, Kanaz here. Ah, Michael. It's over, Michael. Ah! What? <laughs> ah! Wait, is, is she like entering? Oh my god, she entered here in dragon form. Hmm. <laughs> there you go. All right. <laughs> oh, wait, she's. Oh, wait, 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 wait. She exposed her identity in front of her. Okay, so it was all right. So she... Even Saikawa doesn't know that Kana's a dragon, isn't she? Doesn't she? The clue is the first one. Within her friends. Ha! <laughs> Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. She'll have to figure it out herself. Yeah. Yes, back to Japan.
I sh oh my god. Well, I guess she can also go. Like, Chloe is super rich. So, you know, can maybe some private jet or something she has. Wait. Okay, she's back. Um. Oh no. Eh! Okay. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, she's worried. <laughs> Wait, what did the fight about? Like Wait, what? Wait, she was keeping an eye on her. Whoa. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. God. Summer brought a... Uh, what? <laughs> okay, this will be a Kanna-centric episode. Nice. <laughs> yes. Hmm, I think so. No, not that way, assuming. Hmm. <laughs> 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 yeah oh yeah they have the part time oh my god yawns are contagious even in anime oh <laughs> uh. Hmm. <laughs> Watermelon. No. Ah. <laughs> Is that her homework or something? Oh. Um. Okay. Whoa. D don't don't scrub it. It's going to. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> what? Whoa, whoa. Is she like? <laughs> Is she plugged it to her tail? Oh my god. <laughs> so men okay uh, the flowing so men are they going to oh that takes a lot of uh, preparations you know like the bamboo cutting and all stuff they can do that so normal so men i'm guessing oh chloe okay Oh yeah, she can take her, bring her here. No need for any private jets or stuff, so. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> All right.
Oh. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Yeah. No. Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. Wait. Is she like making a report of that? Yeah, that's a good thing, I think. It's unique in a way. Researching about manholes. There's a lot of manholes. Oh. Huh? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> True. Okay, let's get some coffee. <laughs> oh, shave guys. Is that egg? No, I don't think so. This must be some kind of sweet thing. What is this? Oh, oh, it's colored. Yeah. Whoa, he knows, she knows that. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's raining. Close, close the book, yeah. <laughs> uh, wait, can she fly? Oh no, I don't think that'll work. <laughs> wow. <laughs> hmm. Ami ami, the ami ami again. <laughs> oh, Mr. Quiet. Whoa. <laughs> open, open your costume, what? Oh. Ladybug. No, I don't think so. Yeah, there you go. Damn, it must be really difficult for insects to fly in rain. I never noticed that. <laughs> it's pretty obvious, but still. Yeah. Alright, there you go. Yes. Hmm. <laughs> All right. <laughs> wow, that was nice. Oh my god, that was cute. Ah, Kanna episodes are great. Uh. 
All right. This was a full Kanna centered episode and we met a new character here, um Chloe. Now one thing I I was unable to understand, I think maybe Kanna was auto translating it or something. Like when Chloe started to- talking with her, like before that we were seeing like everyone's talking in English and then there was some a section where Kanna kind of like something happens and then after that you know during the hot dog section and after that we kind of see that her talking with Chloe and Chloe is talking in Japanese like was that like she was she like auto translating it and they were just not showing it in the anime must be something like that otherwise I don't see her talking Japanese there like you know as animes usually do they kind of like it's actually that they're speaking in English but they're auto translating it and letting us know and I'm guessing Kana was also kind of doing something like that like auto translating it or something all right hmm. okay that was this episode and uh, okay so <clears throat> Now we, I don't think we got to know why Kana ran away from home. Like I was thinking they were going to later on let us know about it, but yeah, they didn't actually tell us, but you know, like Kana ran away and obviously like her <laughs> scale of running away is pretty big. She actually runs away from home and finds herself in America. <laughs> My God, like imagine. <laughs> Yeah, like, yeah, I just ran away from home. I was just in America for a couple of hours. <laughs> Some different type of a, like, you know, scale. And anyways, okay, so, yeah, she finds herself in the big city and no one there. But thankfully, she finds one of, uh, like, you know, a good friend. That is Chloe. And I'm guessing she'll probably be a recurring character. We'll probably see her in the future as well, just like some other characters we see time to time and it's kind of difficult for you know them to actually meet but you know Kana is a dragon she can just go there and bring her like if she wants to like you know bring her to Japan she can just do it and they can kind of hang out for a few hours and then again Kana can you know uh, transport her back to uh, America back to her house but anyways, okay, so she was being changed, uh, chased by the few, few thugs and they're kidnappers and I'm guessing as as, psych, uh, as Chloe said that her dad was rich so yeah, they were probably kid- trying to kidnap her for ransom and thankfully they've, uh, you know, Kanna was here and she helped her at the nick of time okay so now they kind of they're gonna hang around have fun and uh, so chloe now here's the thing now the thing with kanna here is she she actually understands the whole running away from home a little bit more than all the other people because she not only once but you know this this is probably her the second time of her running away from home and the first time was obviously like she ran away from her world, you know, because of the, I think like the, the prank that she did, I think that was the reason. Yeah, she kind of pranked her dad or something, I can't remember. It was actually told in season one. It was something along that and she ran away because she got scared or something and then like something happened and she wasn't able to go back home. Yeah, and she actually try to drag down Toru and bring her back something like that I think uh, it was told and Kanna so she knows this a lot more better because this is not only happening to her once but twice and like I'm sure she also actually you know feels herself being homesick of her real world as well but because Kobayashi is here in this world and and only kind of uh, kind of looks at Kobayashi as her mom in a way, so that's most probably why she is uh, also comfortable here, even though she is not at her original world, at her original home. So like she has been able to make this place her home as well, and that's why like now running away to another city here in America, 
he actually felt homesick not of her real world but actually kobayashi place because she has become you know like, like really being attached she has become really attached to kobayashi and he understands this a lot more than chloe i'm guessing chloe this was the first time for her actually running away from home and that's why like all the confusion that she was having she was saying like oh like you know like uh, should i go back like what will happen if i go back won't like, you know won't my parents be angry at me like will they able, be able to forgive me like these questions these questions like you know like these are some normal questions like um <laughs> like you know like i remember like myself as well like when i was i was very young like every, i'm sure like this happens to everybody like you know like when you you know do something and then you realize that you've done something wrong you actually kind of uh like start getting concerned as to like oh my god like i've done something wrong so what's going to happen if i <laughs> like, you know if my parents get to know this like will they be angry will they be able to forgive me will they be mad will they like you know kind of uh what can i say like punish me or something like all these questions same thing with Sai. Uh, i'm i'm kind of calling her psycho i don't know why chloe same thing with chloe and <clears throat> he obviously like she was in confusion but yeah karna said that like that's like obviously that's a concern but the bigger concern here is like losing up my home and that's the biggest concern and not only that like like we think of it in our perspective like you know like chloe is talking thinking of this as at her perspective that what's going to happen if i go back home will they be at mad at me but at the same time the people at your home are also concerned about you like obviously she's a child she won't be able to understand that you know like you know she won't be able to understand how much concern her family members are actually facing when they find out that she's not at home you know she ran away like it's, it's even bigger than what she, like you know she can even realize at this age when she grows up she'll be able to understand that but you know like like even though they'll be mad at you like they'll be more relieved after finding that you came back like that's the bigger thing and obviously the relief will be more than getting mad at you obviously they'll punish you they might even like you know kind of uh, shout at you or something say that why did you go away like you know hold you but the relief will be even more because yeah thank god that the person who ran away actually came back home on her own but obviously like she's a like, you know as, as she said she's rich and her dad probably has a lot of enemies or something and these people who just like you know like these kidnappers they kidnap her and <clears throat> yeah for some ransom but obviously Kanna comes quickly saves her and and uh, okay so i guess this is the first person who actually knows that Kanna is a dragon isn't it like obviously apart from the people that he knows everything like uh, apart from takya sota they know they know that these are all dragons like that's not what i'm talking about i'm talking about the normal humans who are not involved in all of these for example saikawa the other friends that kanna has you know and all the other people that we meet uh, you know the the neighbors and all they don't know that uh, either of them are like you know dragons so this is probably the first yeah exception that happened that is a normal person actually got to know that kanna is a dragon and uh, now <laughs> here's the thing i actually don't like <laughs> Like I'm sure, like you know, like I, I'm sure Kana didn't say something like "Don't tell, like you know, anyone that I'm a dragon." I I doubt she said that. So most probably Chloe will go back home and she'll be like, you know what? I like you know I actually made a friend and she's she's a dragon. You know she can like you know she saved me. And everyone will be like, yeah yeah okay. Like they'll think like okay like this is just it's just a kid. She is like mistaking something. They won't believe her. Like obviously. <laughs> But I'm thinking, like, what's going to happen? Like, I'm sure, like, after this, like, Kana will go visit her and then even, like, you know, bring her back to Japan, kind of hang out with her in Japan, you know, and then, like, return her back to America. Now, I'm wondering what's going to happen during that time because obviously, like, his, uh, like, Chloe's family member will see that, like, Chloe is disappearing for quite a while. And then she suddenly comes back and she says that I went to Japan, I did I, this, I did that. 
and like <laughs> obviously the like, suspicion will come into their head and i wonder what's going to happen then how they're going to do this like you know like it's like it's supposed to be kept a secret isn't it that they're dragons but i i don't think like yeah like even if they get to know what what's even going to happen like like a lot of people actually know that they're dragons so but yeah obviously this is not something that you should tell everyone about so yeah i don't know what they're going to do about that because like yeah anyways like i'm sure they'll hang out and i'm sure we'll get to see what happens in the future like, you know we just got to know chloe we don't even know who her family members are who knows maybe in the future we'll actually go to her house and see like you know maybe kanna will go hang out with her in her house she'll invite her and kanna will like play with uh, chloe in her big mansion or something maybe then we'll meet her, uh, her dad or you know like the people who she are living with her family and uh, yeah and obviously like we know that uh, Kana is going to bring Chloe to her house as well. Like, you know, Kova shall probably meet her. Oh, maybe Saika will also meet her. I don't know how she's going to react to that. <laughs> She'll be like, oh my god, like Kana has a new friend? <laughs> Something like that. I don't know. Let's wait for it. But yeah, that was a good thing. And as I said, like, you know, Kana is a dragon. She can just go whenever she wants to. And it's a good thing. Like she has like a, you know, a friend abroad. And just. Just like a pen pal, not a pen pal, but you know, an online friend. But here she can just go to her house in a matter of minutes. And uh, yeah, when she comes back home, see, like we see Kobayashi kind of like, you know, sleeping on the table. She was, she was probably very worried. And uh, yeah. And oh, and then we get to know that actually Toru was keeping an eye on her. I didn't even notice that. And uh, yeah, I'm sure like, uh, well, like, you know, like when Kana ran away, I'm sure that Kobashi said something like Toru, like just go and keep an eye on her, like, like keep an eye, like do, like see that she doesn't do anything, like you know, uh, like she doesn't fall into some kind of problem or, or stuff. So I'm sure like she said something like that, and Toru went and kind of followed Kana there. Anyways, okay, that was the first section. The next section, a little like you know, um, slice of lifey portion where they kind of chill, you know, in their house, kind of go have a little, uh, you know, stroll outside. And okay, so like Kana's doing her um, independent research, which I'm I'm guessing like it was like her summer homework or something. And uh, now <laughs> this is funny thing. Another this thing kind of realized me about another thing. Like, you know, when she, Kana kind of spills the water and. Uh, no, not water. There was tea. Yeah, tea. And she, th oh my, she's like, oh my god, what happened? Like she tries to scrub it and gets even worse. And then she brings out a hair blower, and <laughs> like it kind of reminded me. Like it's another thing that kids, like you know, like not yeah, kids, like you know, kids do. And I also remember myself doing this, like messing something up, and then actually realizing that oh my god, I messed it up, and I need to make this like you know like kind of fix this and in the attempt to actually fix it messing it up even more and then freaking out even more and thinking like oh my god i've missed it out even more like what's going to happen like people are going to be mad at me like you know <laughs> my parents will be mad at me what am i going to do so <laughs> and then trying even more things to kind of normalize the situation but messing it up even more and then by the end of it when you are you don't know what to do you just you cannot start crying <laughs> and then like you know you have, like someone gets to see that come someone comes and see what's happening and they actually fix the problem and you know you're like oh my god like <laughs> god like it actually reminds me of these type of things like yeah and it's kind of a nice little thing that we saw like you know the like, kana like messes the whole thing up she freaks out what she's going to do and then koa she comes and she, She's like, okay, like, you know, give it to me, I'll fix the thing. And yeah, she helps her to actually fix it. And uh, yeah, like, kind of like, you know, even though kind of like, a, what do you call it? Like, a lot older than everyone. She, yeah, she's a child, you know, like, and this really shows how, like, you know, her, what do you call it? Her, like, how she's still a child from within. And, you know, she needs guidance and everything. And yeah, like, it's just, like, you know, cute to see her kind of, like, you know, <laughs> like, messing up and then, like, you know, like, like, obviously, Kana is, like, the cutest thing in this whole show, like, obviously, like, in the cute scale, Kana, top, 
as a full like completely top and like seeing a kanna centric episode just makes your day you know like it makes you happy and uh, it props to everything props to the animation you know like the way they kind of animate kanna like she just like it does stuff like a kid you know kind of wobbles around <laughs> it's really cute and her expressions and everything her like you know her expression of amazement whenever she some she sees something so new and she's like oh <laughs> Oh my god that's that's also another like you know so cute and then like you know her voice acting like it's, it's everything is done so well about Kanna it's just perfect you know so yeah and then like here like they have a little little watermelon they go out to buy some stuff they kind of hang around uh Kanna starts like you know researching about manholes and <laughs> like you know like i think that's like a good topic for uh, an independent uh, you know project for her school homework because i doubt anyone's going to like research about manholes like it's really unique and i i think this will kind of be a lot you know what can i say people will be like oh my god like yeah like it's it's a very unique thing and i'm sure the teacher, teachers will be surprised and you know amazed at this anyways okay so then they have a little ice cream and uh, yeah they you know, do the manhole study uh it starts raining and uh yeah that was it and then they go back home they have like a little outing nice and so like basically the first portion was like you know like <laughs> kobashi running away from home and this portion was them kind of like you know patching up and like you know, becoming you know friendly again like when we in the end when we see like Kanna kind of you know holding uh, Kobayashi's hand and they kind of like go back home together so yeah that's very heartwarming cute and nice this was a full you know cuteness overload episode and yeah this is great so yeah I think that was it so yeah guys that was it that was my reaction to Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid S Episode number 10, if you guys enjoyed my reaction, be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed, comment down below if you want to say anything, uh, you know, like just comment down below, I'll definitely check them out and uh, yeah, so yeah guys, that was it, thank you guys for watching, I'll see you guys next week with another episode of Miss Kobashi's Dragon Maid S, so until then, goodbye and have a nice day.